National prosecuting authority is due to brief the country on Monday about the resignation of Hermian Cournier, the head of the investigating directorate that was touted as the way to hold state capture looters criminally liable quit this week. While her exit has reportedly been due to personal reasons, it is believed that a lack of manpower and other resources frustrated Cournier. Parliament has summoned Justice Minister Ronald Lamola and head of the NPA Shamila Batoi to answer questions about the situation next week. We can discuss this then with DA Member of Parliament, Glynis Breitenbach, who worked with the NPA or at the NPA, in fact, in the past. Glynis, uh, welcome to News at Prime. Thankful for your time this Saturday evening. Is the departure of Hermian Cronier a massive loss for the NPA? Um, I don't know if I would go so far as to say a massive loss. No one is irreplaceable. Uh, is it a blow to, to the fight against corruption? Certainly it is. Uh, it's two years into her term of office. Um, she had a big job to do. Uh, I'm not sure that she was given the resources to do it. Uh, there's, a, there's a serious paucity of skills in the, in the National Prosecuting Authority and even more serious paucity of skills in the, in the police. And uh, the prosecutors can only uh, prosecute those matters that are brought to them by the police. So, yes, will it affect the, uh, the workings of the independent directorate? Certainly it will. One hopes that she's replaced um, as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a great pity that, that this has happened. Uh, but I'm, I'm quite sure that the, uh, the lack of uh, resources has a large role to play in this. Um, and the National Prosecuting Authority's budget has been cut yet again. Uh, it makes it impossible for them to employ the skills that the uh, independent directors would need, uh, cyber forensic skills, accounting skills, um, other specialist skills that are not available to them. Mm -hmm because they have no money. So, uh, you know, if, you, if, you don't, if, if, the, if, the, uh, if the government and the Treasury do not uh, capacitate the National Prosecuting Authority financially, they make it impossible for the National Prosecuting Authority to capacitate itself with regards to human resources and skills. So would you say then and, that uh, she was basically set up to fail, given that I think it was the Daily Maverick about a year ago that was already reporting that the team she had was equivalent to the size of a small law firm? Well, yes, yeah, certainly. I think that, that that's probably flattering the size of the team. Um, so, you know, I'm sure at the beginning uh, promises were made about about uh, capacitation and resources, and I'm sure that the uh, that those uh, those promises were not kept. So, uh, there's just so much that a prosecutor can do. Any prosecutor doesn't matter how good you are, doesn't matter how experienced you are. Uh, you need a team of experienced policemen, you need a team of experienced um, specialist uh, investigators, you need, you need other skills, and for the types of matters that, that she was expected to oversee, you would need uh, certainly um, high-end cyber forensic skills, uh, serious accounting, forensic accounting skills, uh, and, other, and other experts. So they, they just don't have them, mm -hmm. and neither do the police. So it's, a, it's, it's an impossibility. So as she prepares to leave office then, which we understand could possibly be a process that runs until the 1st of March in the new year, how much responsibility personally as someone who was a manager, a boss in the NPA, should she then sh uh, shoulder as she leaves for the lack of progress in prosecuting these massive cases are related to state capture? Well, we don't have the answers to that at the moment, and we hope to get the answers on, on Wednesday. The, the difficulty is this, you know, the, the uh, National Prosecuting Authority comes to the Portfolio Committee uh, of Justice to, uh, to, to report on, on, their, on their achievements and, and lack thereof uh, a couple of times a year, mm -hmm. and then to come and discuss the budget. And, of course, they, they told us that they need more money, that they can't afford to have their budget slashed. Um, the committee has, has uh, proposed that their budget shouldn't be interfered with, but that hasn't helped. The budget has been cut, and they don't have the funds. And so, yes, of course, she has the responsibility at the end of the day as the head of the independent directorate uh, for the uh, success or failure of that unit, uh, along with other people. I mean, she's not solely responsible for it, but she, she you know, the buck stops with her. Uh, but if, if 
if the uh, promised resources were not forthcoming, then you know you can't hold her liable. She mm. she can she mm. can do so much with what she's got, but um, she can't perform miracles if if she's not properly resourced. If they don't give her the, the human resources with the correct skills and the, the right amount of money to to uh, procure those skills, well then nobody in the world could make a success of it. And interesting that you say no one in the world would make a success of it. I was reading a comment from the outer boss, Wayne Duvenage, who said that it's time to put someone in the position with strong leadership conviction, but that all would come to naught without manpower and money. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, one thing that... Um, it's fine to say strong leadership uh, skills and, and, uh, and et cetera, but I'm sorry, that my dogs. Um, the, uh, the, the fact of the matter is if one person cannot prosecute all the state capture cases, it's simply not possible. It's humanly impossible. You need a team. And in order to surround yourself with a team, you need to have, a, you need to have the money. It, it's really a shortage of money. Uh, the skills exist, but they need to be bought. Mm -hmm. and they don't come cheaply. And so, yes, they don't have the skills because they don't have the money. It's very simple. Clinice, let's leave it there. I see your dogs are becoming increasingly impatient trying to get your attention on this Saturday evening. But thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye.